Welcome back to the cafe. With us now is Jolene Neville, who will be competing in the Industrial Athletic CrossFit event this weekend at the New Zealand Fitness Expo in Auckland. Can I just say that before we get going? My arm's still sore. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to have another go because I'm left-handed. Oh, is that your excuse, is it? Yeah, this is my excuse anyway. Anyway, hey Jolene, it's lovely to have you in the studio. Yeah, thank you. I must say, um, the first rule of Fight Club is don't talk about Fight Club, but the first rule of CrossFit is always talk about CrossFit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> all CrossFitters talk about CrossFit. Oh, do you go to CrossFit? I go to CrossFit. Everyone Not loves all it. all of us CrossFitters. So what is CrossFit for those who aren't in the know? So CrossFit is, um, to me, is um, strong and fit movements that you can apply to everyday life. Okay. Yeah. And this has certainly grown in popularity, particularly in the last two to three years, Hugely. hasn't it? Yeah. Huge. So this weekend we're going to see this big event. What, what happens there? Um, so Saturday I think we've got about three events um, right through the whole day. So 10, 2 and 4 I think are our events. And then Sunday we've got two events on that day and then, um, yeah. And what, what are the events? Like doing burpees and stuff? Um, we don't know the events to either the day oh, or okay. a couple of um, oh. days beforehand. So you've got to be prepared for anything. So that's a, you can't do the excess training for one particular thing. And there you are on screen. And that's a, that's a little, <laughs> little, that's a couple of years old. That's, yeah, at least three years old. That what? was a qualifier for um, the Australasia Regional. It looks, oh, it looks, it looks like you could do yourself an injury there. And look how, what are you lifting there? Um, that was a power snatch. Um, 25 kgs, you just, I think it was something like oh, 15 oh reps. Oh my goodness. And then you had to do double unders, which oh, we did. So you have like, like spaghetti arms. A little bit, yeah. How long have you been doing it for? Uh, four years, around about four years, yeah. And what got you started? Um, I work at Shane Cameron Fitness and um, we got a CrossFit coach there, uh, Jamie Milne, and he started teaching CrossFit classes. And he just kept hounding me to, to jump into one of his classes and I, I wasn't really convinced and then I remember watching them and going wow that's actually really cool they were using kettlebell mm. and I was thinking that uses the whole body yeah. so I managed to cherry pick a session um, and did really well in it and he, he sort of said to me look let me train you um, I see a bit of raw talent, uh, raw talent in you and then I still wasn't convinced and my husband who plays rugby for Northland said look, I've got a sport, um, why don't you have one too? So Gosh. that kind of was the icing on the cake for me. So what sort of training do you do? Anything from gymnastics to strength work to Olympic lifting to Metcon, so metabolic conditioning, getting that heart rate up, to accessory work, um, you name it, it is, it's is—it's so broad, it's everything. So what sort of like time, how, how long per day? Do you um, depending on work, um, if I can get an hour and a half to two hours in a day, that's amazing. But oh. yeah, about an hour and a yes, half it is. is awesome. <laughs> that's, that's a lot. I struggle to get five minutes. Um, but what, okay, so obviously I can see what it's done for you physically, but what else do you think it's changed about you as you've done it? Um, I think, like, I've learned a lot from my two coaches, uh, Darren Ellis and Krista Sanford Hill. It's not just the physical stuff, it's like they've made me so mentally strong as well. And I have such a now a positive aspect of life. Right. Before it was just about competing, um, whereas now, yeah, I just, I just love all the background stuff of it. So what do you eat? What do you have to eat? Because you must need a lot of food, a lot of good food I to get through food. the day. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just saying how hungry we are. Yeah, they were talking about chocolate before yeah. too. Yeah. Um, I eat pretty clean. Um, but I do have, like, I at least have one treat a week, um, and chocolate is my biggest downfall. Ask my husband. <laughs> I've already opened his packet of um, chocolate caramel squares. <laughs> Blamed it on a cat. <laughs> of course, <laughs> as you do. A cat's very clever these days, can open all sorts of packets. Yeah. Um, so chocolate's my downfall, but I eat pretty clean through the week, and then we allow um, sort of for a treat meal. I call it a treat because you're not really cheating. Right. Mm. So a treat, you know, it could be like burger fuel or a bar of chocolate uh, once a week, just nice. to kind of keep oh, you sane. Oh, nice. Which okay, and just quickly <laughs> before you go, what can you lift now? Um, so depending if it's powerlifting or Olympic lifting, uh, powerlifting, deadlift, um, I did it the other day, 165 kg. Oh, is there a difference with Olympic lifting? Yeah, so Olympic lifting is your snatch or your clean and jerk. Mm -hmm. So a snatch, snatch is 80 kgs and clean and jerk is 102. Wow. Um, wow, okay, yeah. that's that's heavier than you and I. And the, the, the first one, 165, I reckon that's probably you and I combined. <laughs> Potentially, yes. Potentially, anyway, that's inc really impressive. Hey, well, best of luck for this yeah. weekend. Thank you so much. I'm uh, really looking forward to seeing you in action, and I think you'll do, you, well, you look 
great. You'll do well. <laughs> Thank there you go, because we're obviously such professional know, athletes yeah. ourselves. No, her eyes are sparkling. You can see the fitness in yeah. her. Yeah. yeah, thanks yeah. so much, Jolly. Thank Neville. you. So Jolly's going to feature at the New Zealand Fitness Expo, which is on this weekend at the ASB Showgrounds in Auckland.